opioid overdose is a significant and escalating crisis in North America and worldwide. The U.S. National Center for Health Statistics reported approximately 75,673 deaths resulting from opioid use in the 12-month period ending in April of 2021. This represents a nearly 35% increase from the prior year. Effective strategies for primary prevention, emergency treatment, and secondary prevention are needed to address this crisis. Pathophysiology. Opioid toxicity leads to central nervous system depression and respiratory depression. These effects can progress to respiratory arrest and, if untreated, cardiac arrest. Most opioid-associated deaths involve the co-ingestion of multiple substances, as well as medical and mental health comorbidities. Recognizing opioid overdose. It can be difficult to differentiate opioid-associated emergencies from other causes of cardiac and respiratory arrest, particularly in out-of-hospital settings. Patients may have co-ingested multiple substances or have underlying medical and mental health conditions. Opioid-associated emergencies include cardiac arrest, respiratory arrest, or severe, life-threatening instability, such as severe central nervous system or respiratory depression, hypotension, or cardiac dysrhythmia, when opioid toxicity is suspected. Initial Management and Priorities Early recognition and activation of the emergency response system are critical. Addressing the airway and ventilation in a periarrest patient is the highest priority. Initial management should focus on supporting the patient's airway and breathing. This begins with opening the airway, followed by delivering rescue breaths, ideally using a bag mask or barrier device. Basic and advanced life support care should continue if spontaneous breathing does not return. Cardiopulmonary resuscitation should be the focus of initial care. Naloxone can be administered along with standard care if it does not delay components of high-quality cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Naloxone administration. Naloxone is a muopioid receptor antagonist that can restore spontaneous respirations and protective airway reflexes in patients when these functions are impaired due to an opioid overdose. Alternatives to naloxone include observation for patients who are breathing normally, regardless of central nervous system depression, and ventilatory support. Naloxone is safe and effective in treating opioid-induced respiratory depression, and major complications are rare and dose-related. Harmful effects of naloxone include precipitating opioid withdrawal and sudden-onset pulmonary edema which can be severe but responds readily to positive pressure ventilation. Because the duration of action of naloxone may be shorter than the respiratory depressive effect of the opioid, particularly long-acting formulations, repeat doses of naloxone or a naloxone infusion may be required. Observation and monitoring after naloxone. Patients who respond to naloxone administration may develop recurrent central nervous system or respiratory depression and require longer observation periods before safe discharge. Although abbreviated observation periods may be adequate for patients with fentanyl, morphine, or heroin overdose, longer periods of observation may be required to safely discharge a patient with life-threatening overdose of a long-acting or sustained-release opioid. Community training and impact. Educating patients with opioid use disorder, their friends, families, and close contacts improves risk awareness, overdose recognition, willingness and ability to administer naloxone, and attitudes toward calling emergency medical services. Widespread community training in cardiopulmonary resuscitation and naloxone administration is of growing importance. Interventions that included skills practice, such as naloxone administration, were more likely to lead to improved clinical performance compared with interventions without skills practice. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comment section.